Hello everyone and welcome to Jubilee Road. Now before we get into today's video which you probably can see just there, that tiny little thing there, that is what we're going to be doing in this video, but we got some announcements first. So first things then, remember guys I am like one day away now from my first trip of 2019. So I will be starting off at Crew this Wednesday, which I believe is the 13th. I'll be spending the day there at Crew, uh, hopefully from filming some trains and seeing something interesting, hopefully. And then the Thursday, which is the 14th, I will be at Tamworth, be spending the full day there. And then the Friday and Saturday, I will be at the Seven Valley Railway Steam Gala. So that will be uh, something to look forward to on the channel. And obviously, if you are around, come and say hello and it'll be good to meet you. Now, just a bit of more information about the YouTube Meetup 2019. Now, you all know it's on the 10th of August, which is still quite a way off, but... Uh, really nice of the Seven Valley Railway. They have now gone and put an event on that day So it is now steam on the road Which is the event that's going to be on that day that was not planned by myself that sort of just happened So uh, at Kidderminster railway station then when we all arrive there would be a collection of steam vehicles like traction engines and steam lorries and all that kind of stuff so Thank you, Seven Valleys, like they knew we were coming. <laughs> I doubt they did. So, guys, yeah, if you are uh, going to be around Crew, Tamworth, or the SVR uh, in the next few days, let me know in the comment sections, and it'll be great to meet some of you. So, let's get into today's video, then. So, we do have a very, very, very small visitor to the line, and here it is. Borrowed this off Steve at GLR Bespoke Services. This is his own model. Never really thought of buying one of these just because, well, I don't think I'd ever use it, to be honest. It's not something I'd uh, use a lot. And they're very, very temperamental models, you'd know if you own one. So this is uh, Bachman Wickham's Trolley. Probably one of the, well, it's the smallest model in double O gauge you can get at the moment. I'd imagine the Ruston's going to be fairly small from Hornby. Sorry there guys, I had to uh, cut the video off because there's an ice cream van going down the street. Well, well, doesn't he know I'm filming? Anyway, so the motor is actually in here, in this covered over bit. It must be absolutely tiny and it only drives two of the wheels, which I think is a bit of a bad engineering by Bachman. It should have powered both sets of wheels, but anyway, that's what makes it so temperamental. And it doesn't really weigh enough either. Um, and you can see he's fitted figures. Uh, to each side I believe but now there's something interesting about this Wickham's trolley which as the title suggests a special Wickham's trolley hmm why well this one's actually DCC fitted yeah guys you, you can't actually DCC fit these and the Dakota well probably can't see it from this angle but it is in there it's actually behind the figures the figures are hiding it but this model goes even further than that. I'll show you that now, guys. This is quite interesting. Right, so in our uh, sort of closer to the model, it's actually quite difficult filming in this area now because of uh, the scenery work that I have done. But anyway, as you can see, you can see really how small this model is. It's probably the same height as that fence, which, uh, yeah, that fence isn't high either, so yeah, really, it's a lovely little model, i got to be honest. Well, detailed too. So, as I said then, this is DCC fitted, which makes it run probably better than it would have uh, DC, uh, which they come from the factory. But this um, Wickham's trolley kind of has a little party piece, which I haven't told you yet. And that's why it makes it special. So, normally then, on a DCC uh, chip, you press one, and nothing happens because it doesn't have a sound decoder uh, option fitted. Should we see what happens if I press function 1? I think we should. I think you know what's coming, guys. Let's press function 1. So, uh... 
Yeah, guys, believe it or not, this tiny little Wickham's trolley has D DCC sound fitted. Uh, the speaker, again, is hidden behind the workmen which are placed on it, and you really, really can't see it. Uh, it's really, really quite impressive to fit all this into such a small uh, local. So let's just shut it down and see the shutdown sequence it has. So yeah, for such a small model, it's got really good quality sound. Now I believe there is a small sort of power cube speaker which are tiny fitted in just in there and the decoder I believe is glued to the roof on the inside. Now GLR Bespoke Services has done this himself um, so I, if you want one like this with sound in it speak to him. Uh, I'll put a link to his website or YouTube channel in the comment sections below so you can uh, well if you want sound in your Wickham's trolley you uh, you should to be honest it's quite fun now the coder that he has used i believe it's something like a class 06 which is uh 060 shunter i believe but it suits this really well it's sort of an they sound in real life very rough and uneven little engines so i think that works really well it's got loads of different functions we don't really need to play those because they don't suit the wickham's trolley very well but the main sound and one of the horns suits it really well. So what we're going to do next is run it around the layout. Now this is going to take some doing guys because I said these are quite temperamental little models. So let's go and follow it around the uh, layout and let's see how it goes. So there we go guys, there was the few shots of it running round the layout. Yeah, it took a few attempts uh, uh, to run it round the layout because, as I said, they can be a little bit on the temperamental side. But once you actually get it up and running and round the layout, it seems pretty happy. And uh, yeah, as you can hear, it sounds good. It does run well, as I said, as it gets warmed up, I guess. And it's such a unique model to have, uh, especially with DCC sound, guys. That's just mad that you can actually get all that technology into such a small thing. Um, really, really impressed. Uh, you know, Steve does do fantastic work, as you can see here. It's just, or I think the problem is, it just needs a little bit more weight here over the driving wheels. Uh, I'm not sure how you would do that, but uh, we've been in talks with Steve to try and weigh this down a bit more. I think it would run so much better. So guys, I just want to say thank you very much for watching today. Um, please leave a comment uh, down below. Don't forget my trip, which is starting this Wednesday. Also, YouTube meetup, 10th of August. Uh, if you don't know anything about that, please go to the Facebook page, 
link will be in the description below. Uh, please like the video and subscribe because I'm not far off now 5,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for that guys. So then, the next video will actually be from the Seven Valley Railway. So there'll be no videos from Juby Road for quite a few days as I'm away. I'm sure you can wait guys. So, as I said, thank you very much for watching and I'll be back here at Jubilee Road or on location very soon. Bye everyone.